And what we'll do is then we'll move on to the next tournament, which is Banjoon's Golf Resort, the Oregon Championship. And let's make sure we have a look. So it's just average. Wind's a little bit up. Current round. Current score is minus six. Okay. EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to showcase the finest young golfers from around the globe. From the rugged Pacific I've seen some people Oregon, saying that, um, not loads, but a lot of people going, oh, I don't know why people are saying this game looks good, it doesn't look any better than 2K23. And I love 2K23, don't get me wrong, I'm not like a hater of that, I played that game so much on the PC. Done videos on it, absolutely love it. Love the course creation, etc. But hands down, this game looks so much better. Um, you know, whether you think the gameplay is better on this than, than 2K23, I can understand people liking 2K3 over this. I prefer this personally, gameplay wise. Um, but looks wise, this is just a stunning game. Okay, I think we'll do with high fade on this one, and yeah, we'll try and obviously that makes the shot more difficult. But try and put a little bit of power into it. Yep, so it goes a little bit further because this stuff sh should stop fairly quickly. Look at that! It's run a little bit too far than I wanted to, but okay, that's so pretty much what I was trying to do. Let's bring in note of the gay, the third now these greens look like they're going to be pretty difficult. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this, even when he's not close to the hole. Hear that wind as well. Very makeable opportunities. Can you hear that in the background? The the course audio is brilliant as well. Yeah, I think maybe a little bit further actually. Oh, what a putt to start with. And look what the AI's done for me as well. They've got me nice six birdies ahead of me starting. So I am top and by quite a distance. So this is in Oregon. A little bit of popping in the uh, distance there, some of the bushes, which I don't normally see. Things like that don't bother me, to be honest. As long as the game's running smoothly. Um, and you know what? Yeah, I think we do go for a power drive in this one and just try and absolutely smash it down the uh, the fairway. And that is absolutely spot on. As long as we don't get a bad bounce or anything. He says, is it nearly... Ooh, is that going to be a tricky lie? No, no, that looks fairly flat on there, actually. Maybe a little bit uh, below my feet. Yeah. Yeah, look at these greens, though. So this will go right to start with with being below my feet. Then it's going to go back left. Situation, it's so easy to get ahead of yourself, but that's exactly what you don't want to do. You want to stay to your strategy. What's been that's a beautiful swing, you. You almost perfect. Executing every single shot and every oh, single land round softly. Ultimately, what you hope will be that that's perfect. Pack your bags for the big stage. And at this point, it's not just about the victory. Note if you can continue to so play three well, inches uphill. So that plays about sixteen. See how the points add up, and you can get to the PG tour that way as well. That plays about yeah. Gonna have a lot of slope and putts. Ah, just overread that and overswung it a little bit. Okay, we're just getting a feel though. We're getting a feel for the the speed of the greens. So that obviously affects how much it slopes. But a nice birdie. 
actually, for, I, if I'm going to be honest, I forgot that was for an eagle. Um, to a tough one now, the par 14 listed at 390 yards. I should have looked at that poppy, I didn't. Um, five of them to contend with all told, and none this. are easy out. The green is an arrow one as well. Amount of tilt from back to front. Could we now? Is it worth going for it though? Like, we're not gonna get there, are we? We're definitely not gonna get there. Um. So I think we almost accept that and just try and play over here, Mr. Bunkers. That's a perfect swing. Don't bounce, don't bounce. Oh no. And that one coming in too hot. Oh, heavy off rough. The fairway and right Do you know what? Looking at how that bounced, I think. Pretty shaggy we uh, try to muster up something for his We second. might have been able to make the the green. Or at least somewhere near. Not bad. Not bad. Now this for oh, this another part, birdie. This is a horrendous putt. Six inches downhill, so that should be about seven. I'm going to aim it a little bit harder. Not even too far right. Hang on a minute. Very nice. Look at the weight on that putt. On now to the final par three on the course, the 15 listed at 206 yards. Don't be low. Looks like to it's uphill as well. The crashing waves and seagulls. This hole can bite you, especially if you don't avoid that front right bunker, the deepest on the course. Okay, so this is one where we definitely just want to make sure it's on the green. And that's all I'm bothered about. Well, I say just on the green, as long as it's not ridiculous putt. Um, why is that going left? Why is that going left? I've hit that absolutely perfectly. A little bit of a swing, but that's what is going on there. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Very nice. Nice good flop. It gives a very good chance to save part. Flop shot. Looked in trouble there at one stage. Oh, just yeah, snuck in the the That's left edge. And, this will remain. and the AI have taken over and we'll finish nine under for the round. Very good start. So end up being three ahead of uh, Lorenzo Brewer. He must have came in at the last second there. Getting close to that level 40 now. Okay, so what are the conditions like today? Pretty much look the same. We are. Current score minus four. <sighs> What's going on here? EA Sports. And the Corn Ferry Tour. What has got five over for today? Oh, come on. From the Pacific Northwest and Bandon Dunes Golf Resort. Live second round coverage of the Oregon Championship. Well, 
things starting as right, five holes to play on this Friday, look at that scorecard oh, come on prize. for others it's a fight to stick around for the weekend as we show you the leaderboard well We're that's looking at a tie oops. at the top at seven under par that's the downside of so uh get out to the course the way we pick up the action quick, starting uh, at quick the rounds par I hope they do change that. They did say that they're looking at that, and I can't see why they wouldn't. And I'm sure they said it was in the, the alpha, the beta, the beta or something, but it caused issue with the commentary, obviously when the commentators are talking about which round it is and things like that. But surely that can be uh, resolved. Yes, he's left himself 140 yards to the flag and the pin right at the back. And a few other people have said it, but I do really like how every course really does play differently. Oh, look at that. What a finish that is. The sound of when the ball does the rest. Great shot. Really need to be on fire today. With the AI messing up our around. Okay, so back to five under. Now remember we finished the other round nine under. He's gonna move to within three of the lead. Okay, so we're within three. I was saying, well, this this tournament's gonna be easy now. Um, well, this is a long par three. This one at least is slightly downhill. Areas of concern include that pot bunker short and left, and then the thicker stuff that comes into play if you knock it over the back. Look at that, perfect. Just managed to catch the the fairway before the green that stopped it dead. Okay, a little local Still 30 foot past. All the work back onto the green. And now a birdie putt coming up. Definitely right left. That could be good. Oh, perfect. That break in the middle of the putt was hard to read. Well, not hard to read. More just hard to judge exactly where you've got it in. Because it's it was straight at the beginning and at the end. Par 5. Chance to really catch up here. May need to get lucky though on your drive as rolling dunes could leave you with an uphill flyer lie or let's just smash this one. Downhill shot to contend with. And the game lagged a tiny bit there. Don't hit the no oh that's a good bounce. No problems there. That's gonna wind up safely in the fairway. Look at that bounce. It's gonna be above our feet. Which isn't ideal with the wind going right to left as well. Honest well, going left to right straight, I was it. Spot here for um, good. This is short second to the par five. Oh, this could be good, this you know. High draw. Now remember this this is to get on in two on a par five. Lovely. That'll do. All the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. What are you doing? Right, what you want, but the eagle putt doesn't go down. Okay, just a birdie. I'll take it though. Just like that, it's a birdie here at 13. It's a very good chance for eagle though. Within one of the lead here, 
You know, if you're in within 20 feet for an eagle, it's going to feel good if you don't get it. What a lovely looking course. I said that about the last one, which is very different. Obviously, this is a June's course. Um, now, this is the one that we didn't go for the last time. Um, and we ended up in the rough anyway. So, do you know what? Let's just do it. Uh, where's the... Well, if we are going to go for it, we might as well probably go for it. Oh. Missed the bunker. Oh, that is way right. Is this going to... Come back. Mm, that was close to being good, but it'll hop off the fairway and into the heavy stuff. Wait, what do we want to do? I think a flop. Absolutely perfect. Beautiful. Well, that was a big tee shot. A little unfortunate to settle down on that rock, but showing some great skills and perhaps a birdie. There we go. Nice birdie. Right now at a fourth consecutive birdie. And that's going to move him to eight under. Ooh, okay. So back within touching distance of the lead. Best to avoid the short right bunker, which is the deepest on the golf course. This is the last the hole I'll play, and to be honest, I would take a par. Is not a bad play here. Okay, this way, come on. This could be good. This could be really good. Oh, if it just bounced on the green first, I think that would have been right near the hole. Friendly bounce there, and that will make its way onto the putting surface. We turn to notification. Okay, Perfect though. 16, 21. I'm and gonna aim this about 25, I think. Much with all day. This doesn't have a whole lot of movement to it. He could surely use it. Very nice. Oh, nine under. The AI didn't add any bogeys on at the end, which is good. And we are tied for the lead now. So we got ourselves back to, to level par for the round, which was pretty good going for me. After the AI did us a bit of a dirty on that one. And I should always check. Okay, the wind's up a bit as well. Same conditions, but wind's up. EA Sports and the How many? Tour oh, look at that. Now that now the AI have decided they're going to give us a head start. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. On the Pacific Coast of Oregon, it's live third round coverage of the Oregon Championship. Rich Lerner here in our tower overlooking the 18th Five holes green. left. Frank Navalo is by my side. Out on the course, we've got Noda Begay the third and Iona Steven as we check the Saturday Now again, board. we went our for it before, didn't we? And, um... Is our featured golfer. He's got a commanding five-shot lead here as he has been spectacular I'm wondering if we just far. try and get it over. Time to get out to the action on the course as we pick things up on the tee at the par 4 14th. This could be good. Oh, that is way right. Come on, stop. 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 It's landed in exactly the same place, Rolling pretty much. Straight up until that one. A little bit of a test coming up. Not As the last time. Though it is in the rough, should have a go at this one. Second shot Ooh. now, 14th hole. 
have to play a long flop here. Ah, it's lovely. Couldn't risk hitting it too far. Birdie yesterday, and another opportunity on the way. Chance now for another birdie. And a beautiful putt there. You know, I think that hole really is worth just going for. And I think the trick is, is if you can hit the drive and just hit the rough before you get in the fairway, that'll knock some of the power out. I think that's probably the way you've got to go. Don't be lulled to sleep by the sound of crashing waves and seagulls. This hole can bite you, especially if you don't avoid that front right bunker, the deepest on the course. Yes, this one we definitely want to fade in, which makes the shot harder for us. A little bit of underswing, but that should be good. That may help us a little bit. Yeah, just the way the hole was and the wind, I, I couldn't really get it close. Solid shot. Um, even with the, solid throughout the, round, we'll the fade. Now, from long range, this for birdie. Hmm, I thought it was downhill, but it's not. So, let's have a look at this. So, first few grids, just discount those. This could be good. This could be good. Oh, what a putt. Wow. Maybe the prettiest hole on the golf course, this par four six. In the last round of the previous tournament, our putting went off, but apart from that, we've been on fire with the putting. Um don't know what went wrong on that one. Ooh, chance for a as well as some pretty thick horse off to the right. Chance to get on the green here? How are we going to get on this green? The bunker's there as well. I think we try and just get it near. A little bit of underswing isn't probably this bad actually. Right, trying to draw its way back. Yep, yeah, that's fine. That could have been on the green. It was about the right distance. Nice little shot into the pin, though. The big drive got him here. Um, daily quest. What? Wonder what time the daily quest refreshes. Obviously, I'm in UK time in, in British standard time, so I'm not sure. So I've got a flop here. Ooh. Hit the pin. Oh, it's a bit unlucky. <laughs> bit unlucky. Now this for another birdie. Yeah, because look at the distance now. That wasn't should have been nowhere near there. But doesn't matter when your putting's on like this. Well done. That's a birdie here at 16. He moves to 17 under par. Lovely stuff. A lot of these holes here at Bandon Dunes have big, wide landing areas. That is not the case here. And now remember, if we win this, You'll we get on the PGA Tour. To thread the needle here with bunkers on either side, thick Oof. rough on the left, and a canyon to the right. But Damn, this is uh, scary. And the fairway can yield a pretty good look at your Jesus. Second. Um. I mean, I hit it perfect, but somehow it's gone right. Somehow it's gone right. Ooh. Lost that one. Great. Out of bounds, and that is a costly stroke. 
How has that gone right? Shot after being penalized for going out of bounds. I was aiming left. I was aiming like this. Uh, what's, now it's worked. Great. <laughs> uh, that's bad. Yeah, much better there. No questioning whether this is inbounds. It is mm. right there in the fairway. Yeah, what have we got? We need this very close just to get a... Uh, just to keep it as a bogey. Very nice, so can get this put in. All is not lost. Again, button. Pretty good. Not great, but we've got such a uh, head start. Well, it's only five now, which sounds a lot, but look at that view. Um, let's have a look at the leader wall again. Yeah, but with the AI, as you saw in the second one, they, they, they could decide that I'm going to drop four or five shots. Um, so... before I even actually start the round myself. Um, stop. To be a wonderful Saturday of golf here and this, another fine oh. tee shot. <laughs> Just short of the bunker there. Have a look. Yeah, if we can. Oh, it's just taking a bit of a risk, but. Just making sure I don't underhit it. Okay, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. It just, right off the green. It was just, so just drawn up a bit too much there. And I like the flops. We'll just do a little flop here. Oop. Okay, that's safe. Could have been doing more a little bit closer. Chance now for another birdie. But chance for birdie. And that's in. Yeah, that's a good putt there. It's a birdie at 18. Very nice. That will be a third round score of 64. So six well, clear at the moment. Let's see where we are third, when we start the fourth round. I'd be happy if it just kept it as that score, uh, level par for the round. Current score minus 20. Wow, okay. Winds have dropped a little bit and it's the same conditions. That's perfect. I think sort of six to nine miles an hour winds is, is probably, you know, easy enough to deal with. So six ahead. From Bandon Dunes on the central coast of Oregon, it's live. And what have we only got? Uh, of the regular season finale, four holes to play. Okay. It is the great but this looks like we're going to get promoted to the PGA Tour, to which is what I wanted. Rounds together, trying to best Mother Nature and this course, and trying to beat the entire field as we check the leaderboard. So put a bit of height on this. Our leader here on this Sunday is um, our featured golfer. I think we'll stick He's with the five iron, just lay it a little bit short there. He looks to increase it further. Let's head out to the course and pick things up at the par 315. Decent strike, but it's a little bit slow. 
Ooh, nice little hop. That'll do. Bit of an uphill put there. That one from safely on the putting twenty surface. odd foot. Let's bring in it looks like it's uphill, but it's not, Pony. I'm gonna put a little bit of power into it though. Far, but this one's gonna be a um, How's that swing line? Look at that swing line. That's dreadful. That's the bit I in PJ 2K23 was the same. It's, it's not the game. It's me. The bit I struggle with is the, the swing line. Sometimes I'm absolutely perfect, and other times it's just all over the shop. Um, we really need to get that, uh, and that does come with playing consistently as well. And, um, some golfers play for the upper fairway, which gives you a bit of an angle to the green. Others, they stay down Interesting. Low, which is so this safe. one, we did a pretty well last time. Is just to try and carry it over everything. If but I put a bit of fade. The and the gorse, if you choose option C. Right, let's try and get my hand in the right place. Nope. That's better. Oh, it missed there. That is way right. Okay. Maybe shouldn't have really went for the risk the there, the but... Tee, and this one is headed for the rough, Frank. So this is a great time to bring in Nota Begay the third. Nota, you've been there. You made it through the Corn Ferry Tour. You went to the PGA Tour. And you won four times. So here we are. Two wins already for this superb player on the Corn Ferry Tour. In contention now for that coveted third victory. Need to finish this off. So what do you think's running through their mind at this point? Well, it's just so nice easy to get distracted in this situation, Rich. You're thinking about playing on the PGA Tour, which is a lifelong dream for every single one of these players out there. And it's so easy to start thinking about how things could go wrong. And you really have to redirect your mindset onto the things that have been really working well for you up to this point. Go out there, execute, stick to your strategy, nice and stay aggressive. Sorry, no, Begay, I'm just interrupting you. Yeah, but seven ahead now. I, I can't see us uh, dropping that many shots. Right, I am not taking any risks on this one. Left has pot bunkers and thick gorse. Right with a long bunker and side. Even if we have to go too far left. Best to just put one right down the middle, but that's uh, that's easy for me to say. Well, that's good. Yeah, absolutely spot on. A little bit of underswing. Ooh. No that's right there as well. Here. That's this actually ended up really well. Under control, as that's in the fairway here at 93, 50 yards drive. Good chance to get one in close from here. This now I don't normally play pitches, just because I'm never sure on the distance and how to judge them. But I think I'm going to do it here. I've got a little bit of leeway, so why not? You know, bit of practice. Bit of underswing there, so okay. So if I didn't underswing it, that was probably about right. Nobody's happy after that shot. Oh, I mean that was uh, you know, one up from disastrous, really. All right, it wasn't that bad. I mean, it, it wasn't great actually, but nice, nice, yeah, yes. Maybe we shouldn't try practicing uh, pitches when we're in the middle of a round and for that far ahead. But this is it. And look at that view. Absolutely beautiful. And again, it might not come... Often games don't come across quite the same way on, on uh, Twitch or YouTube. Obviously the compression and everything, but... Um, Yeah, it's a stunning game. Now, we nearly hit the bunker last time. We're a tiny bit short, so we're not going to do a power drive. Ooh. Offline there. That's better. Better swing. And that'll do absolutely perfectly. Okay. 
What? How is that? And that one looked good for a while, but it's gonna get how? gobbled up by that bunker. <laughs> I, I I don't know how that happened there. Um, it looked perfect. And I, okay, anyway. Still could potentially make the green here. We will. This will be a hefty putt, though. That is a really good 80 foot. And it's two for up. Oh, well, this is going to be tricky. Um, going to say this. Yeah. Okay, so it starts. I almost, what I'd normally do is I normally just visualize what the ball, what I imagine it looks like when it starts turning. I can't really describe it. It works for me. Um, now this is just getting it within 10 feet here, really. I've hit it well. I mean that's a pretty solid putt there. From that distance, within five foot, I'll take that all day. Another birdie. You betcha. And what a nice finish with a birdie. And 18 to wrap things up. Nine ahead. And that is our three tournament wins on the Corn Ferry Tour. Third career victory. And a good one. They're starting to come a little quicker. I think confidence is starting to grow. It'll be really interesting these next 12 months to see if they can absolutely springboard from this position. So that'll do it for my partner here in the tower, Frank Cavallo. For Nota the Gay, I... Very, very nice. And let's just have a look. He finished the Corn Ferry Tour regular season, ranked inside the top 75, and have qualified for the Corn Ferry Tour finals. Okay, so that's not actually correct. Um, yes, I finished in the... No, that's not right. But I've won three. Huh. Do I not... Isn't it if you win three, you automatically qualify for the PGA Tour? Okay. Well, we'll see what happens next time. Maybe we'll still have to play the remaining tournaments, which would seem a bit weird, and I don't want to skip them, just in case. Um, but yeah, okay, so potentially we could have <laughs> we could have qualified for the PGA Tour. Um, I'm a bit concerned about that pop-up. I was saying, oh no, that's wrong. It's, it, it's got the wrong pop-up, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yeah. When a golfer wins for the third time in a single season on the Corn Ferry Tour, that golfer goes straight to the PGA Tour. That's exactly what I thought. Okay, we'll keep an eye out for that next time. But yeah, thanks very much for joining, guys. Obviously, these VODs uh, are going on YouTube. Um, going to play, obviously, more golf offline, but I'll not touch the career mode. When I say that, I might actually do the last two. Um, and then see when we get to the Tour Championship whether we have to play that or not. Um, I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see about that. But yeah, thank you very much for joining. If you're on YouTube, hit that like button. Drop a comment down below and think about subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you all next time. Cheers.